It is an alarming trend. Eight on your side has learned that e scooter injuries in Tampa are on the rise and they have been for months. Victoria Price joining us live in downtown Tampa tonight. Victoria, these e scooters come with a warning right at your own risk and for good reason because people are getting hurt. Oh, Keith, absolutely. And for the record, I am riding at my own risk right now. But each month, at the end of every month, TGH, they report back to the city with the number of scooter injuries that they see in their ER, that increase in injuries. It's hard to ignore, and a solution, well, that's easier said than done. Have you ridden one? I have not, no. Dr. David Wien hasn't tried the latest transit trend, but he sure has seen some of the consequences. The broken ankles, sprained ankles, uh, wrist fractures, wrist injuries. Each month, Tampa General's emergency department compiles a scooter injury report for Tampa police. Eight on your side obtained those numbers and found scooter related injuries have gone up by more than 700% since e scooters hit the streets in May. Most aren't major, but it's the head trauma cases that concern Dr. Wien. Helmet aspect is a big problem. Please unlock and run. All the scooter companies require wearing helmets in their terms of service. However, just like a bike, it's not illegal for adults to ride without one. Most people don't walk around downtown with a helmet under them and then decide to get on a scooter and put it on. Like Tampa, St. Pete plans to launch a one year scooter pilot program sometime next year. But unlike Tampa, St. Pete hopes to mitigate some of those injuries with restrictions, like no scooting on sidewalks and a 10 p.m. curfew. Your balance isn't the best after you've had a couple beers. And it's not just TGH that's reporting back to the city. There's also a research team at USF that has also been studying the impact of scooters during this pilot period. Reporting live in downtown Tampa tonight, Victoria Price, 8 on your side.